Hello friends, creative photography class. It is time for your final project or thinking about it. Have you been thinking about it as we've gone through the course? Because this is your Google Classroom and on here is your Artsonia code. So you must have your final four, your best work from the course on Artsonia for your virtual online art exhibit. I'm not going to give the code on here. It's top secret. If you want to know that top secret code, go to Google Classroom and click on that. Here is your task sheet, your assignment calendar. Hopefully you've turned everything in. Happy Easter he is risen. I can't wait to see your art. If you haven't done it, it's not too late. Do it. Next, you had your theme with verse and photography by your name on your photo of the flower for the flower challenge. Then you guys really did a great job on your movie inspiration. And there's a lot more posted on Google Classroom where you guys hit it. Then we did one of your photos into a who? Vincent Van Gogh inspired art. This is mine made from a Google slide with my Van Gogh title. My photography done with the Prisma app there. And there's my normal photo. So that way we showed the impressionism style with digital art on photography. And you were welcome to do it with paint as well if you like working with that media. Then we did your color theory. Hopefully you aced the quiz by looking at the video first. If not, retake it. And our last thing before we just went to pure photos was the last artist study we did was on Andy Warhol. He did repeated images and we had three images for a triptych. Hopefully you've saved one of them for your final. Then your last one, two, three, four photos were anything that was creative. And I had a video where I showed you how to do that. Use mirrors, use string, and even putting text over a photograph is considered creative. So you get to pick which four photos to upload for me to grade. Then we're on your final four. So your final four is added to your gallery at artsonia.com. And you want your final four to have your name on it and your verse on at least one of them. And then in May, Get excited for modern period where we're going to do some Jackson Pollock splatter art. Hopefully you follow directions on the Warhol artist study page and you did a copy of the Warhol. What I did here is I enlarged mine on that doc where I did a copy so it could be one of my final four now. Now I'm just going to rename this final four and show you how to use something you've already done with the course for your final four best of your work to put on your online art gallery for your final. So I didn't know if you guys knew this, but check it out. You could go right down the file and hit download and you get to download a PDF a, uh, that works for Artsonia as far as I know to make sure then you can upload to the Artsonia <laughs> website. If you wanted to know how to get your digitally manipulated triptych onto Artsonia, that's how to do it. Then when you go to Artsonia using the code that's on Google Classroom, you just go to upload. And once you upload your image, you're going to get to see your final four on our online virtual art gallery on Art with a Message. And all of your art has a message, so I can't wait to see it on here. You'll see my final four if you come here and scroll through to see some amazing art by students. So that's you guys. Way to go, working with art with a theme and doing your verse. These are up at school and now that we can't be at our school, we can do a virtual online art gallery. So way to go being an inspiration to others with these positive themes. Great job guys.